Welcome to another Rivage Vlog. Many of our customers are happy to tell us that Rivage systems are their favorite consoles to work on. Comfortable and intuitive to operate all day, all week, throughout a tour or season. Now with version 4, it's got even better. So let's take a look at the new surface settings preferences. In the setup menu and preferences, you can see the new graphical interface. Here, we can choose how each screen and fader bay interacts with the rest of the console. You can quickly set up for operation by two engineers or choose the best method to suit your workflow. PM10, PM7 and PM5 consoles share the same facilities here as they can all operate with three screens. PM10 and PM7 allow a third external screen in addition to their large selected channel section. Let's explain one by one, starting with the select link. Here you can choose how the channel selected in the fader bay reacts with each of the touchscreens and the other fader bays. For one person operation, it could make sense to have only one selected channel at a time. But if you have two operators, you can split the left screen and bay into a separate selected channel zone. See the color changes blue. You could also isolate the right bay to create three selected channel zones. Or you could isolate one screen to keep it on one particular channel while the faders below link with the rest of the console. Then there's the selected channel section. Do you wish to link it to the right screen or the central screen <laughs> or even the left screen? Left-handed or right-handed engineers may choose different settings. Of course, these screen select settings are missing from the Rivage PM3 due to its more compact single screen console. However, the bay link settings apply to all Rivage consoles. For comfortable operation by two engineers, it'd be best to break all the links to the left bay to keep it independent. But for a lone engineer, there are many options. Linking bays allows layers of 24 or 36 faders to be created, helping you to quickly navigate through large numbers of channels. See, you can even link left with right while keeping the central bay independent. In addition, you can choose whether to link the sends on fader operation, where the faders flip to show mix and matrix sends from the input channels. Send block will link which group of 12 mix or matrix sends are shown on the 12 channel view screens. Shift key will link the shift operation for each bay useful for many copy and paste shortcuts or for temporary channel links. Channel strip encoders will link the function assigned to the encoder row below the screen, following the selection from the encoder assign pop-up window. The home key is used to memorize your favorite screen window, fader layer and selected channel. Choose whether to link each home key. Finally, the queue select behavior can be changed on each bay. When you queue an input channel, do you want it to be selected? And do you want different behavior for the output channels? So you can listen to one mix while adjusting another. One more new thing. Did you notice the four banks? In case you have multiple engineers, each can quickly choose their own settings. Or perhaps you want different settings for sound check, support band and main band. Feel free to choose. Whatever your preferred workflow is, you can find a convenient method with all Rivage consoles. Find the other vlogs in this series to learn more about the new version 4 features and search the Yamaha.com website to find a Rivage Audioversity seminar near you soon.